Fortnite Chapter 3 Guide Season 1, Week 6 Quests and How to Complete Them As part of Fortnite Season 1, Week 6, a new batch of challenges is available for you to check off your list. This week's quests are a little trickier than before since many of them require some luck to complete. Regardless, we've got tips for getting through the latest objectives as quickly as possible. These are the new Season 1, Week 6 Quests and how to complete them in Fortnite. The hardest part about this objective is actually finding a tornado, as they spawn randomly around the map. From what we've gathered, you can sometimes spot a tornado as soon as you jump from the battle bus, though this ISNT always consistent. The best thing you can do is jump into a match, and then deploy your parachute right away. Look around to see if you can spot the tornado, and if not, land and keep your eyes peeled for a tornado in the sky and make your way towards it. The sky will be grey and is quite obvious, though its position is random. You can then run into the tornado or use web shooters to swing into it. Once you do, the tornado will keep you in the air as long as you steer into it. If for whatever reason, you fall out of the tornado, you can jump back into it and your progress will carry over. After you've travelled 100 metres, the challenge will be completed. Tall grass appears all around the daily bugle in the northwest corner of the map, so you'll want to head there first. This one can be tough to coordinate, but essentially, you'll want to get an enemy's attention at the daily bugle and lead them out to the outskirts of the area. Then, crouch in the grass, pop out and deal damage to the opponent. Remember, you don't actually need to eliminate the opponent, just deal damage so don't worry about finishing them off. This is one of the trickier challenges since it's a little more luck-based, but you can definitely take a few measures to get it finished. Vending machines spawn in fixed locations around the map, but the malfunctioning ones appear randomly, unfortunately. Most vending machines are blue, but the red ones indicate that they are malfunctioning. It's best to land around the north side of the map close to shifty shafts since there are multiple vending machines in this area. Hop in a vehicle and drive around to Logjam Lumberyard, Sleepy Sound, and Coney Crossroads until you find a red vending machine. If you try this a couple of times and still can't find one, simply play normally and you're bound to come across a malfunctioning vending machine eventually. Once you do, you'll need 100 gold bars to get a random item. This quest is similar to one from week 5, only this time, you must destroy the timber pine stump. For this, you must either use a melee weapon or ranged weapon to complete the challenge. After you've dealt enough damage, the main part of the tree will collapse, leaving only a stump. Then, destroy the stump to earn credit, and do this a total of three times to finish the quest. For whatever reason, tents seem to spawn around gas stations, so make your way to one and look around. Once you find a tent, simply claim it by interacting with it, and then select Manage Storage to go inside. You'll need to have taken damage to be able to heal from resting, so build a ramp and jump off so you aren't at full health. After you've healed 30 HP, you'll earn credit for completing the challenge. If for whatever reason you can't find a tent, play normally and you'll eventually come across one. Flare guns spawn randomly from chests or as floor loot, so keep your eyes peeled as you play. Once you've got your hands on one, keep playing until you encounter an enemy. Then, shoot the flare gun in their general direction and it will mark them. Don't worry if you aren't close, the flare gun has a large radius. As long as you're within 25 meters or so, it'll count. This one requires a little luck, but thankfully, it's not too difficult. We recommend landing at Greasy Grove for this and hopping into one of the nearby cars. With a little luck, you'll have enemies around you. If so, pull right up to them and press down on the D-pad to honk. Make sure you're within 10 meters for this to count. If you can't find an enemy, drive around to busy areas like the middle of the map, Sanctuary, or the daily bugle to find an enemy. It helps if you play solos for this one, 